actually look at uh, Somalia then and Somalia now. And I want to refer to, before I talk about that, to my own research. Uh, part of my research is on what I refer to as transnational migration and globalization and its impact on racial transformations in the West. Uh, the, the, the friend who actually suggested that Somalia should go back was a very fascinating comment that actually my own research is about that. And, and the research simply suggests this, that uh, demography and racial transformation is explain at least 20% of social processes. And the argument is that North America is started from a sort of a seamless homogeneous entity in the uh, 1770s and moved to a society that is highly heterogeneous uh, today. And the argument is that that heterogeneity, the movement from a homogeneous society to a heterogeneous society, that, that change in demography is transforming the entire society, not only in the physical the, uh, the demography, but in the notion of social identities and the meaning of identity. And so, along those lines, we want to look at, for example, Somalia then and Somalia now. So structural and social transformation is, is what we are really interested in looking at. Uh, for example, social identity. That is what I have actually talked about. What kind of social identities that has been perceived in Somalia uh, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, as opposed to uh, today? I was actually... Uh, uh, looking at the internet uh, several months ago, and I saw uh, a, uh, someone who had a t-shirt, made a t-shirt in the back which says, I am uh, Mifgan and I am proud uh, at the same time. Uh, it, to only suggest that the nation has experienced a condition of a contested social identity such that those who, the things that we have taken granted are no longer there, and so we have a society that is not radically differentiated, but society, a society in which groups are no longer accepting uh, notions in which the main or the, uh, the, the, the national narrative assigns to them. I'm not going uh, deep uh, into in, in, in that. Demography and migration. We moved from a society in which 95%, except few communities in some places in England and, and, and the Middle East, uh, Jeddah and, 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 and the Gulf uh, uh, countries, uh, aside from those countries where 90% of the population were still in the country, in Somalia, to a society where a significant number of the population are now outside the society. This is a component that, uh, that complicates the idea of the nation state of the idea of Somalia in terms of their uh, resources, their education. So they contribute to, to the society in a negative and positive way at the same time uh, in, 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 in this sense. Okay. So uh, we also have a spatial and geographic changes. Uh, especially, it changed from a society we thought that we understand where the geography starts or, or and where it ends. The only geographic spaces that we were not sure were basically uh, the Northern Frontier District and the uh, uh, Western uh, very and the Western <coughs> part of, of, of Somalia. So. Uh, so that is also, that's also different. I'll give you an example, and this really uh, is not in, in anything saying about Somaliland, but just as an example, and I, I asked for your forgiveness earlier. For example, uh, the Somali nation is a socially constructed phenomenon. It's not Muqaddas, Muqaddas, that's what I read. And if it's not Muqaddas, it can be recreated, mended, reorganized it, and reconstructed exactly the way it was originally constructed. 
And so, for example, if you look at, uh, for example, in 1965, uh, Somalia, 1975, you could not think a possibility of a part of the country saying that we're not even Somalis, we're a different kind of Somalis. You know, how do you explain that? Nothing again in Somalia did that, but just to, to understand. So quickly, I, I don't have much time, the internal uh, problem of the Somali society uh, is depicted in here. Uh, the reality of the matter is that Somalia is not necessarily what you understood as a seamless homogeneous entity, but it is a system that is organized in a very highly uh, uh, stratified uh, system that divides the society into different, different categories. Uh, I have uh, made this argument in very extensive ways, in different ways, but some of, the argument, some of my main argument is that some of the crisis today is a conflict between master narratives and counter narratives. The master narratives are lineage basic priorities are called, and the counter narratives are called ter territorial moral basic narratives. The, the lineage na narrative <coughs> suggests is that Somaliness, true Somaliness, is simply informed by what is degree of social and spatial distance at and or closeness to from a supposed original ancestor. You can locate that wherever you want to do. And there are two ways. A total exclusion from that idea and a simultaneous exclusion and inclusion. A total <coughs> exclusion refers to uh, two groups. The caste-based groups and the race-based groups. That is, Madivan, uh, Midgan, Tumal, however different ways that you want to uh, uh, categorize, and racial-based. An entire category has appeared, which is called the Bantu Somalis. Uh, so this is, I refer to total exclusion from the social boundary of Somaliness. The rest is excluded in a curious way of an interesting uh, uh, manner, which I cannot go. Uh, too much. But it's based on, uh, another one is the spatial distance, north-south, right? That is here, let me go back. The nearer you are to that idea, the more Somali one gets. Spatial, north-south. The farther uh, north one is, you can make your uh, own judgments uh, in, in terms of this kind. Culture, the interesting thing is that the farther you go from north-south, the more even the language itself uh, becomes accused of not being necessarily uh, uh, Somali in this sense. Not particular language, but as you go down, the farther north, the, the kind, of, the, 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 um, the more the country changes. Mode of production. These are categories of social stratification. They're really quite interesting. It is, a, it is a mirror image of what Lewis referred to as, as as uh, segmentary media. This is a mirror image which can show you a segmentary social stratification uh, in that sense. Mode of production, nomadic versus agriculture, categories of differentiation, uh, lineage versus uh, this. So now, this is this part. Now, another part has, has actually claimed that organizes itself in terms of Territorial and moral priority. That is, who owns what, where, and how. Mm -hmm. Conclude. Conclude. Okay. Uh, that's it. So it is the it is the uh, the contest between the two narratives that I suggest, for example, created a legitimation crisis. Uh, and that legitimation crisis then provided a space for global, uh, regional, and global geopolitical space. My argument is that the existence of the Ethiopian occupation must be understood in Somali terms than the other way around, uh, right? So we are the ones who are providing the space in which uh, external geopolitical processes have the space to enter into uh, the Somali uh, uh, political and cultural space. Thank you very much.